this tutorial, I'm going to go over the usage of Twixter Pro to get better tracking by separating your footage into multiple layers by supplying mats. Note, not all of our plugin versions have a regular and pro version. However, I will be referring to this mat separation feature as part of Twixter Pro to emphasize that this feature is only available in the pro version of our plugins that have a regular version and a pro version. That said, many of our host applications that don't have a separate pro version also have this mat separation feature. So don't let the fact that I'm using the name Twixter Pro lead you to believe that those versions do not have this feature. I'm using Twixter Pro for After Effects for this tutorial, but this is the same technique that you would use for Twixter Pro for Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, and Twixter for Smoke, Flame, Fusion, Nuke, and other OFX hosts such as Scratch and Composite. You should be familiar with the simpler settings of Twixter before watching this tutorial because I won't be covering the basic Twixter concepts here. You can refer to the regular Twixter tutorials for more information on the basics. I will go over an example using a single additional layer in this tutorial, but you may have up to three additional layers over the background with Twixter Pro. I will start by showing you our footage that we want to retime. As you see, we have this guy doing cartwheels across the street, so we will consider this our foreground. We also have a mat for this guy at each frame. I can show you in the regular version of Twixter if we want to retime this footage altogether without using the mat. You can see what happens is we get this gloopiness in the Twixter result. Here's our result using Twixter Pro. You can see that it's dramatically better than using the regular version of Twixter. Now we can see how we can get better results using Twixter Pro and the ability to separate our sequence into layers. If you take a look at our mat, you will see that our mask is completely white with no transparency on the interior. You can, however, have a bit of transparency on the edges as you get from anti-aliasing. You can see that by viewing FG1 on our display, it shows us that the foreground being twixtered without the background. And if we look at the background twixtered, you can see that Twixter does the best it can to fill in the missing information. Keep in mind that the final result, Twixter will be compositing the foreground on top of this. We will leave our display on Twixtered output, which will include the individual layer Twixtered settings foreground 1, Twixtered, foreground 2, Twixtered, etc. But we can see that viewing these individual layers is very useful when you're interactively guiding the motion estimation for a particular layer. The single layer Twixtered settings allow you to see an individual layer retimed without having to wait for all layers to be calculated and composited. Let's look at the FG1 settings. We can see the FG1 invert mat shrink set to zero, you can see that it leaves a bit of the foreground on the background in the Twixtered result. This halo we see is due to the semi-transparent pixels along the edges of our map from the anti-aliasing as we described earlier. We can change the foreground one inverse mat shrink to one and you can see that the halo of the foreground onto the background has gone away. Sometimes we need to increase that number to a greater number such as 2 or 3 depending on how large of a halo we're trying to remove. That setting basically shrinks the background mat calculated from the foreground mat so any spillage from the foreground gets removed. You should set the foreground one mat channel to whichever channel the information is in. In this case, the mat was stored in the red, green, and blue channels so I could choose any of the three. Now we just specify which is the mat for foreground one, and I will choose the rotoed foreground mat. And we can render the result. Note, you should be aware that by adding these additional layers of calculations, we will also add extra time to make these calculations. So your result will be dramatically improved, but you will have to wait. This is how we use a mat in Twixter Pro for better tracking.